All right, guys, we're back again with another adventure today. Today is kind of a cool one. So today I'm gonna show you, let's say you have a streaming device and it's on a different VLAN, but you want other people to be able to cast to it and stuff and send data, but without being having access on that network. So if you have a, let's say you have a guest network and you want them to be able to access the IT network to be able to throw stuff up, or you yourself put on your you know, Apple TV, um, or your, oh my gosh, Nvidia Shield, or your Google TV, and you wanna be able to cast videos up to it. And they're on a different VLAN, and it's like, oh, it's blocking, it won't let you do it. Well, this video is for you. This is a little quick on Unify, how to get this done. So, let's get into it. All right guys, so as of today, I'm using network version 8.1.113. So this is the network version that I'm using. So what you're gonna wanna do is figure out what the device is first, its IP addresses. So we'll go to clients, and there's two ways you can do this too. I'm gonna show you both. So first I'm gonna show you if you wanna do multiple devices at once with one easy command. So let's say we have this one right here, this is the Chromecast TV. So if we have the Chromecast TV and we wanna put that on a different network and that is 154, so 154. So that's what the IP address is, 1.54. So it's on VLAN one and it's a device IP address that pertains to this itself, which is static. Remember, you wanna make these static is 54. The other one is the Nvidia Shield and this one is 119. So what we can do if we want both of them, we can go down here and we're gonna go to our profiles, we're gonna go to our IP groups, and we're gonna create a new one. Because this is only if you're gonna have multiple in one. So we'll create our first group, IP4, it's gonna be 192.168.1.119, and we'll hit add. And then we'll do it again, 192.168.1. Actually, you know what I might do? Just so I know, cancel that. We'll add that other one back in because this is my remembering thing. I gotta make sure it's right up here. 192.9, I know this one's right. Add, add, okay. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Nvidia, let's do that for now. Or Google, let's type of Google. Uh, ST for, whoops. Just for stream for now. Hit add, gun. I wanna make sure that IP address of the other thing is correct. It's 154, I thought it was, but I wanted to make sure. So next I'll go back again, settings, profiles, IP groups, and with these two, once we do the firewall rules, if you come back in here and add more stuff, it'll automatically just go to the firewall rules. So once we create the rule, it'll just work. If you have multiple in there, you can just keep adding to these lists and we'll just keep applying. So I'm gonna go back to Google, there you go, stream, and we'll add that other one. And then it's 192.168.1.54. And you might be saying, why is it on the same as the network? This is at my mother and father-in-law's house, same with my parents' house. A lot of these devices are hardwired and there's just no point about it. So like, they're not gonna remember if they have to unplug something or do something, everything, I mean, it could be labeled, but just to make sure that you say, hey, you gotta put this in this port because this is tied to this VLAN. It just makes it more cumbersome for them. Uh, they should be fine, especially if it's just, for your home network and craziness, yes, do it extra security. I mean, if you can do it, if you wanna take the, you know, if your parents are really into, yeah, I want it that way, that's fine. Some people are just like, they don't care. But that's the correct way of doing it. But today, it should, they should be definitely fine. But yeah, so I'm not worried about that. It's just harder with people in your own network. You know what ports go in. You'll spend the time making sure it goes in there because if they plug in something wrong, then all of a sudden their thing's not working and you're not there to say, hey, this is here. And it just, it's annoying for them. Let's just say that. You get what I'm saying. All right, so now what we're gonna do, we got that in there, hit apply changes. 
Now we're gonna go to the firewall rules, security, traffic rules. We'll make sure you're in advanced, simple. You don't wanna be in simple, you want advanced. We're gonna go all. We're gonna go to new entry. So this new entry is gonna be a LAN in. And then we can call it uh, stream to guest. Yes. All right. So now what we can do is we're gonna go down here. We make sure it says accept because we want to accept the traffic to the media shield. We're gonna go to network and we're gonna select the guest network and we're gonna give it to, like I said, we can hit it on. So if we wanted to go to one device, we would go to IP address and just type in that one, 192.168.1.119. And if I hit add rule, then it would give only them access to the uh, NVIDIA Shield because that was its IP address. But if I want to say, hey, I want the, both those IP addresses that I did, instead of making this rule, then recreating this one again and making another rule again, all we got to do is go to those port groups. So go port groups and we're gonna go to, where is it? Google it was, Google Stream. And then we're gonna hit add rule. And now we gotta find that rule because it's probably gonna be blocked first. Where is it? Let's find it. Let's see, where are we located now? Google Stream, let's see here. What did I need? Oh, stream to guest. I was looking for something totally different. That's right, yeah. It's under drop, so it needs to be above this. All we gotta do is move this up there, and boom! That will take effect right now, and now people on the guest network can stream to both, both of these devices, the Chromecast in the sewing room, and the Nvidia Shield in the living room. So it's pretty freaking cool in there, so yeah. That's, so now the people that come over if they're on the guest network and still stream to it, even though they don't have access to anything else on the network, they can still Chromecast and all that stuff to those. So that's pretty dang cool. But hey, if you guys like these videos, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you guys don't miss any of my videos. And hey, I appreciate all you guys. I love doing this. So hey, I'll catch you in the new one. I hope you and your family are having a rock and rolling day. Peace out.